When considering residency options in the country of Guatemala, it's important to weigh the various different factors that shape the lifestyle and the environment of the country of Guatemala. In today's video, we're going to be discussing residency options in Guatemala. If you are interested in becoming a resident and living there, this is the video for you. Now, the country of Guatemala does offer various advantages for expats, but there are also some really important disadvantages to consider prior to relocating to Guatemala. So let's first start off with some of the positive aspects of Guatemala. Firstly, you have a very affordable cost of living along with fairly robust internet infrastructure across most of the country, making it an attractive destination for remote work, digital entrepreneurship, and for global citizens. The consistently warm climate, spacious surroundings, and generally safe road conditions further contribute to the appeal of this country. However, it is quite hot and humid, so if this is not the climate you are looking for, you may be better elsewhere. In saying this, it's also important to to acknowledge some of the challenges that are currently present in Guatemala. So Guatemala does have a weak freedom of speech and democratic deficiencies within the country that may be concerning for some, as well as prevalent safety issues, particularly for marginalized communities. Now, along with this, there are a limited range of activities for expats and poorer air quality, which may impact your overall living situation in the country itself. As with quite a few other countries within Latin America, navigating the bureaucratic hurdles and addressing the lower quality of education and healthcare infrastructure in this country will require consideration prior to your move, especially if it's going to be more than just yourself moving and your family will be relocating with you. Now, despite these potential drawbacks, the residency process itself in Guatemala does have fairly standard documentation that you will find within most residency processes and this includes apostilled birth certificates, police checks, certified copy of your passport, along with the minimum monthly income required. Now, additional documents are required, but these are the most standard documentation that you will need for this process. So you are required to earn a minimum of 1,250 US dollars per month to qualify for residency in Guatemala. This can come from either income or from a pension. And if you're looking to add any dependents onto your application, there is an additional $300 USD income increase for each additional applicant on your application. They do have the pensionado residency option, which leads immediately into permanent residence, while the rentista option will simply lead to temporary residence. However, after two years of holding your temporary residence, you will then be able to apply for your permanent residence. Now, an interesting aspect of Guatemala is that they abide by a territorial tax system meaning that any income that is sourced from inside the country, you will be taxed on, and you will not pay taxes on any income that comes from outside of the country. You may have heard that the income tax in Guatemala is 7%, which is true. However, this is only true for employment income. If you have a business in Guatemala, the business will be taxed at the corporate rate of 25%. If you are an aspiring resident in Guatemala, I would highly recommend first looking at both the pros and the cons of lifestyle in Guatemala and potentially visiting the country before making the decision on if residency is right for you. And if you are interested in learning more about different residency options in Latin America, click the link above and let's dive in to your potential options for residency in Latin America. If you are interested in moving forward in either a Guatemalan residency or otherwise, our teams on the ground can help reach out to us. All of our links are below and we're happy to assist you further in your residency, citizenship, and global citizen journey.